Okay, glad I caught you. So happy you made it to this channel. This yoga class, we're just going to move through the energy, whatever it is that's in our bodies, allowing ourselves to ground down and come back to self. So grab yoga blocks and a yoga strap in your mat, finding yourself into something comfy. And just before starting, I will film a little clip of the ocean here for you and post it just before the yoga class. So I'll see you on your mat. So glad you made it. Aloha. Okay, we're here. Look at this. Aloha, so glad you made it back to the channel or if you're new, welcome to Aloha Nadi Yoga. I'll be guiding you in your practice today. So just make sure you have two yoga blocks and a, a strap, yoga belt or strap with you and making sure also that you have water nearby. I love to bring in some form of element in my teaching that I'm learning in the current moment in my life. And right now, something that's been coming up for me is a deeper acceptance of my wholeness. Um, understanding that wholeness within us that, that encompasses you know, the darkness and the light, all, all of the parts to ourselves and how we can hold ourselves in that wholeness and uh, love it. Um, so yoga for me also dives into that level. And I invite you in this class to either use that concept or anything that comes to mind for you that can help you just settle into yourself and your space and your sacred temple. So we'll come on to a wide-legged child's pose. So open your knees wide, drop your hips down into the heels. And you can just stay right here or you can walk your hands forward and allow your chest to melt down towards the mat, allowing the forehead to rest on the mat or a block. I'll take a few deep breaths here, taking your time to allow whatever comes up for you just allow anything that comes up, maybe things that have been coming up from your day or the year or the time in, in your life. And start tapping into the deeper sense of your breath, where your breath goes when you inhale. And how it feels when you exhale. Trying not to force anything. Allow just the sensations to come up for you and witness them without any judgment. And for those of you who are dealing with any injury or any circumstances or situations that are going on in your body, um, just keep note of that for yourself and modify when needed. Take a, another really deep breath, deep down into the pelvis. Filling up your belly. As you exhale, allow the chest to melt down closer to the mat as you melt your hips back into your heels. I will be taking moments of silence so that you can just drop into your body and feel without any external sound.
take a couple more breaths here. Melting. When you're ready, inhale, lift the head, tent the fingers, walk your hands to the right, and then lower back down for a nice side bend. Deep inhale into the left side, spreading the ribs. Feel the breath going down into the left lower back. As you exhale, relax your left shoulder, relax your jaw. Notice if you're holding tension in your face. On your next inhale, bring yourself back up, walk to center, and then come to the other side and lower down. Inhale deep into the right side ribs. Exhale, melt your right shoulder down as you send your right hip back into the heel. A few deep breaths here. Just witnessing yourself in this pose and the sensations that you're feeling. And when you're ready, come back up, inhale, and then come back to center here. Pull yourself up into a tabletop. Send yourself towards the back of the mat, the knees underneath the hips at a 90 degree angle. Then just walk your hands forward, keeping your hips where they are to come into puppy pose. So you can stay just like this, or you can send the chest all the way down with the forearms down on the mat and maybe the chin resting on the mat. Maybe turning your head to the side and allowing one of the temples to rest on the mat. You can even have a block underneath the forehead Whatever feels good to you here and allow yourself to melt into puppy pose. Send your hips up and back as you drop the heart. Drawing the navel up and in. Feeling a lengthening happening in the arms, the side body, the front line of the body, in the back. On your next inhale, just walk yourself gently up, hands underneath shoulders, and just allowing yourself to come and settle into a neutral spine here in tabletop. And draw the navel in here. Just send the tailbone slightly towards the heels, feeling a support in your midline, feeling your, feeling your abdominals here activate a little bit. And then start circling your whole torso. Circle here, small circles in one direction. And start noticing where you feel that in your body, where you want to move more freely, allowing yourself to notice if you're feeling it in the wrists, or you're feeling in the hips, maybe the knees, maybe the shoulders or the back. And then when you're ready, start widening the circles to send your hips back more and then sending your chest forward past the wrists. Ah, just 
gently rotating here and bringing your attention right down to your center. Your, the body has a center right in the middle between the heart and the navel. Just notice that point, that center point. Imagine a little diamond just shining bright right in the center. And that shining is getting bigger. And then come back to center and then switch directions just with small circles. Still feeling the activation in the navel. Right, and then start widening your circles as much as, as you feel you want to widen. Using your breath here, stay connected to your breath and how that helps you move the energy in your body. For some of us, this is enough. Maybe today you had a lot going on and this is just moving things around for you and it's feeling really great. Two more breaths here. Then come back to center, neutral spine. And then we'll do a few cat cows here. Inhale, drop the belly, tailbone up, look up, pulling your heart forward. Exhale, draw navel in, round your back, tucking your chin into your chest. Inhale into your cow. Exhale into your cat. Do a few more rounds here on your own. Notice where you're feeling this. For some of you, you might be feeling the opening in the belly, in the chest. For some of you, it might be the glutes, the lower back, between the shoulder blades. Good, come back to a neutral spine. Walk yourself slightly forward in front of the mat. Take your right knee, bring it to the center, and then send the left thigh behind the right and drop the knee. Open the legs, open the shins out, bring your blocks closer to you. And then slowly send your hips back to sit down into cow face pose. Okay, so your left thigh is underneath your right and I can turn towards you so that you can see how it looks like from the front. There you go. Your shins can be as out away from your body or as close to the body as needed here. This might already be very intense for some of you and that's fine, you can just stay here just resting in this pose, taking really deep breaths. Notice where you're feeling that in your hips, or maybe in your knees. Whenever you're ready, you can either bring your blocks forward and reach the heart forward as you inhale, and then exhale, lower down on the forearms. You can also stack your blocks or have one block underneath the forehead to rest yourself down just like that. And we're gonna be here for five deep breaths. Filling up the belly so you feel the belly pressing into the thighs. And as you exhale, relax your shoulders, relax your neck, open and closing the jaw. Mm. 
bringing back the theme of the wholeness in your in your whole being witnessing the thoughts that are coming through and allow them to just flow by and just feeling yourself in your in the present moment accepting all the parts that are coming up for you relaxing more deeply when you're ready slowly come up remove the blocks to the side and shift your weight forward unbind the legs come back to a tabletop Open the knees wide, hip width apart, tuck the toes, and then shift your hips up and back into your first down dog, keeping the knees generously bent here. Just pedal out the feet. I'll take a few deep breaths here, taking your time when you lower one heel to maybe stay there for a breath. Notice how that feels in the back of the calf. Lift your hips up and back. Feel your palms and the knuckles of all the fingers rooted down into the mat. Draw your elbows down towards the mat to frame your upper back and draw the navel up and in. Notice that lengthening and lifting up and back. And when you're ready, exhale, settle the heels down towards the mat, maybe still keeping a micro bend in the knees here. Press out of the mat, relaxing the neck. Maybe swaying the hips side to side here, feeling an awakening in the side body, the obliques. Taking your time to notice how that feels. And then inhale, shift yourself forward into high plank. Exhale here, drawing the navel in, setting the heels back and sending the tailbone down towards the heel, strengthening the lower abdominal, strengthening the glutes, pressing out of the mat with your palms, creating a space between the shoulder blades. Take an inhale, exhale, press your hips back into down dog. Do this again. Inhale forward into high plank. Exhale here. Inhale. Exhale, shift your hips back into down dog. One more time here. Inhale forward into high plank. Lengthen, exhale here. Inhale, exhale into down dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up into three legged dog, sending the toes down towards the mat to frame your, your hips, level out your hips. Press out of both palms equally in that bottom foot as you reach that top heel away, lengthening before lifting higher. And then lower that foot down to meet the left. We'll do the other side. Inhale, reach that left leg up and back, lengthen. Press out of the mat as you lengthen. Feeling the strength coming from that left glute, thigh, abdominals, back. Exhale, lower that foot down to meet the left. Lower the knees down on the mat. Send your hips back and down for child's pose. You can choose to drape your arms along your sides, palms facing up to allow your shoulders to roll forward and relaxing your shoulders, maybe swaying side to side on the forehead, 
on the shins. I'm taking a moment here to feel the child's pose. Cradling yourself in your center. Feeling a sense of safety, embrace, acceptance. Whatever comes up for you now, just focus on that. Hmm. Sometimes I end up getting lost in a, a rocking motion because it's a... It's kind of a trance. It allows me to fully release into this kind of meditative state. It's like when you're a child and you're being you're being rocked in a rocking chair. Come back to center. Bring your hands forward. Pull yourself up into tabletop. Knees hip width apart. Feel your, yourself really rooting down into the the tabletop, and then bring the left knee to center and send the right leg behind the left. Turn the shins out slightly and send your hips back down onto the mat to find your cow face pose legs on this side. You can bring your blocks forward in front of you to prepare yourself. And, and again, option here to just stay right here. Sometimes I also like to Massage my feet in this pose. Dig my thumbs into my feet, into the big toe, into the arches of the feet. Even massaging the heels and the ankles. And then feeling myself really rooting down into the sit bones. Feel your sit bones sinking into the mat. And when you're ready, if you would like to go there, send yourself forward and fold over the legs here, however much you would like to feel the sensation of opening in the hips. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold in, relax the jaw. Take five breaths here, expanding the lower belly. Exhaling, relaxing the shoulder blades, relaxing the neck. Even relaxing the tension in the hips. We like to grip in the hips. So easy to grip in these areas. And just notice and be gentle with yourself about releasing. Releasing the grip slowly. It takes time. Again, come back to your body. Notice any thoughts coming through. Come back to your deeper inner focus, the calmness and the calmness and peace within. And then when you're ready, inhale, come back up. Remove the blocks, send yourself forward. And then release that bind. And then tuck the toes behind you, knees hip width apart. And then when you're ready, send your hips up and back into down dog. Maybe this time you're feeling like the length behind the legs and the back line of the body is getting, it's getting longer. And that's, just something to notice. Maybe you might be feeling that in your body. Maybe you might be feeling stiffness that still needs to be unwinded here. Just keep pedaling the feet in your down dog as you lengthen. And 
And then when you're ready, walk your hands to your feet and the knees and fold forward, holding on to opposite elbows, dangling here into ragdoll. If you need your hands on blocks, please feel free to do that as well. And here the goal is to allow the spine, allow the head to relax. Feeling the hips opening here, the glutes, the back line of the body, the hamstrings, the calves. Allow yourself to be pulled down with gravity. Maybe swaying side to side. <sighs> Taking your time. This is not a fast paced class tonight. This is just opening awareness, connection to the body and how the slow movements of sensation can really be quite intense even when it's slow and bring that deeper sense of awareness in every moment. When you're ready, take your blocks, place them in front of your feet. And the level of the block might change for you if needed. I'm just going to shift myself forward a little bit here. So your feet are about hip width apart, bend the knees slightly. When you're ready, bend the left knee, keep the right uh, knee straight, place your left hand on your left block, and then take the right arm, open it to the side, sending the hips back. So the hips are staying where they are, and feel the chest opening and pulling forward. So keep it open to the front of the mat as you open the arm up to the sky. Option here to send that top arm overhead reaching forward. Feel that opening in the right side of the body. Breathe deeply here. Inhale, arm back to the sky, maybe looking up at your hand. And then exhale, send that right hand down on the right block. We'll do the other side. Bend the right knee, straighten the left. Take an inhale, reach the heart forward as you send the hips back. Exhale, open to the left. Keeping the length there. This side might feel different than the right. That's okay. Just witness. Option to send that top arm overhead reaching forward. Reach the left hip back and the right hip back as you reach your arm forward. This can travel down the outside of the left leg. The IT band. Inhale, arm up to sky. Maybe look up at your hand to really create a deeper twist in the middle spine. And then exhale, lower that hand down to the block and then fold, fold over. Release any tension in the back. Deep breath, sending the breath into the back body. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bend the knees, send the hips down, and then arms overhead into your chair. So here, drawing the energy down into the midline. Feel the heels planting down into the mat. Your glutes are starting to strengthen. Tailbone down towards your heels, draw the navel in, and lift the heart up, the chest up. 
as you reach your arms to the sky, relax the shoulder blades down your back, turn the pinkies towards each other, feel the strength happening in the lats, the outer shoulders, side body, legs. Two more deep breaths here as you sit deeper. Center your energy and your breath deep down into your midline. And then exhale, unbend the knees, fold forward, hinging at the hips. Inhale, half lift, reach, crown forward, sending the hips back, lengthening the spine. And keeping the length there, exhale, fold. Bend the knees, inhale, root to rise, sending yourself all the way up, really lengthen here, rooting down into the heels as you reach the sternum up, sending the tailbone down, opening all the front line of the body. Exhale, hands to heart. Take a deep breath here. Exhale. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, fold all the way down, nice and slow. Inhale, into your half lift, maybe hands on the mat or the shins. Lengthen and exhale, fold. Inhale, walk your hands to the front of the mat and your feet back. And then exhale in your down dog. <sighs> Inhale, reach that right leg up behind you. Reach it high. Bend that right knee, stacking the hips. And just notice how that feels. Looking down at your mat, press out of both palms, armpits pointing down towards the mat, drawing the navel in. Feel that left foot grounded down into the mat as you reach the top knee higher. When you're ready, inhale back to three-legged dog. Exhale, draw the right knee into the chest as you send your weight forward. Inhale here. With control, exhale, step between the hands. Lower the back knee down. Low lunge here. Untuck the back toes. Inhale, reach heart forward. Exhale, stay here. And take a couple of breaths here in your low lunge. Breathe into that left side. You'll feel it in the front left hip flexors and hip and thigh. And then Bring both hands inside of the right foot. Heel toe the right foot out slightly, maybe taking a block or two in front of you. And then lower the forearms down on the block or on the mat. Making sure that right knee is in line with the right ankle. This is a very deep opening here in the front body. Option to tuck the back toes, lifting the back knee. Still press out of the back heel. Press out of the front foot as well to create an activation. If you'd like to feel that in your hips, relax the jaw. 
And then release the back knee down, untuck the toes. Press yourself back up onto your hands, release the block. Shift your hips back into half splits. And you can have blocks underneath the hands here. And then the toes flexed towards your knee. Run toes towards, flex towards your knee. Inhale out slightly of your fold, reaching the heart forward. And then exhale, fold in as much as needed to feel the back hamstring open. Deep breath, connecting to your wholeness here. It's okay to feel tension, trying to release the tension in your body. Inhale, bend the front knee, walk the hands forward, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, step it back into down dog. Just going to flow once here before doing the other side. Inhale into your high plank. Option here to lower the knees down. Shift your weight forward onto the toes. Lower with control as you exhale all the way down onto the belly, keeping the navel drawn in and the elbows towards your sides. Untuck toes. Inhale, lengthen and lift into baby cobra. Squeezing the shoulder blades, elbows along your sides, minimal weight into the hands, pressing the top of the feet into the mat as you activate the glutes and the thighs. Exhale, lower. We're going to do that two more times. Inhale, lengthen and lift the heart into baby cobra. Relaxing the neck here. Exhale, lower. Notice where you're feeling in your body as you do this. Maybe it's the lower back. Maybe it's the abdominals. Inhale, lengthen and lift once more for five. Breathe for three, two, one. Exhale, lower. <sighs> Tuck the toes, come into tabletop or high plank as you inhale. Exhale into down dog. Take a deep breath in here. Open your mouth and side out. Oh. Beautiful. Inhale, reach the left leg up and back, reach it high. Focus on lengthening here. So reach that heel back. Bend the top knee and then stack the hips. And look down at your mat, relaxing the chin, relaxing the neck. Press equally out of both palms, rooting into the knuckles. Feel where you're feeling this. Focus your attention on releasing the tension where you're feeling that tension. When you're ready, inhale back to three-legged dog. Toes pointing down as you reach up and back, feeling your left glutes working. Exhale, draw the left knee into the nose, really doming your upper back, drawing that knee towards the nose. When you're ready, look between the hands, step it gently between the hands and lower the back knee down. Untuck the toes. Inhale, reach the heart forward. Then exhale, allow the right hip to just drop. Feeling the right hip flexor. And for some of you, you might also be feeling that in your left side. I feel it on both sides. I feel it everywhere. Drop down into your breath. Subtle movements are so vital. 
um, to move the energy as well. We don't need to do very much to shift things in our minds, our spirits, our bodies. <sighs> Just becoming mindful of how that movement can really feel good and can really help us. When you're ready, send that left hand inside of the left foot, both palms inside the left foot, heel toe that foot out slightly. You can bring a block right in front of you and then lower the forearms down on the block or the mat. A couple of breaths here. Deeper dragon pose. Low lizard for, it depends on what you wanna call it. An option here to tuck the back toes, lifting the back knee, pressing out of that back heel in the front ball of the foot, activating the hips, the glutes. If this is too much for you, you can lower the back knee down again if you'd like. Whatever you need in this moment. This is intense. Relax the hands. Relax the expectations and any muscles in the face that might be tensing up. Deep breath here. When you're ready, lower the back knee down. Come back onto the hands. You can have your foot back to center, hands framing the front foot, untuck the back toes, and then send your hips back for half splits. Flexing those left toes towards the left knee. Inhale, reach heart forward. And once again, you can have blocks underneath the hands. And then exhale, folding with length. And again, it really isn't about how it looks. It's really about the sensation. So wherever you start feeling that deep opening, just stay right there and breathe into that. Relaxing the elbows. Relaxing the shoulders and the back. You can even roll your shoulders back and down in this pose as your chest opens up to the front of the mat. When you're ready, inhale, walk your hands forward, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, and then step it back into down dog. Take a deep breath here. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, <sighs> inhale, lower the knees down onto the mat and we'll come all the way down onto the belly, all the way down into the belly. When you're ready, come up onto the forearms, bring your elbows beneath your shoulders. And we'll come into Sphinx to passively open up the front line of the body a little bit more here. So the legs can be mat width apart, they can be closer together, whatever feels good to you here. Inhale, root down into the forearms and the palms, and then pull your heart forward between the shoulders, lengthen the neck, feel the shoulder blades sliding down as you reach the sternum up. And then feel the sit bones relaxing a little bit as you root down into your pubic bone and your hip bones. You always have the option here to place a block underneath your forehead. If you want to relax the head. For some of you who 
have an advanced practice here. You can always open your hands wider than your shoulders. And then press out of the mat to lengthen your arms to come into seal pose. To deepen that arch in the lower back and create a deeper opening in the front line of the body. And then here, option to make half moon, half rainbow shapes with your neck. So your chin rolling down your chest and towards one shoulder and then rolling down towards the other shoulder. And keep moving here in this motion with your neck. Your breath. You can even hold it wherever you need to, maybe on one side to feel an opening in the neck, the side neck. When you're ready, come back to center with your head. If you were in seal, lower the forearms down. And then stack the right palm on top of the left, right underneath your forehead and relax the forehead down on the stacked hands. Relax all your body here. You can shake your hips side to side to release the lower back. You can bend the knees and windshield wipe the knees to release the lower back. Do a little bit of shoulder opening here before we come onto our backs and do a final twist, supine twist to fully let go. Lower the legs and then open the left arm out into a T. Bring the right palm underneath the right shoulder. Bend the right knee and then press yourself onto your side into scorpion pose. You can have a block underneath the forehead here or the temple if you need that support. And you can also stack the legs if you need that as well. Whatever feels good to you. And notice, notice here how it feels in the inside of your left shoulder. Taking deep breaths, coming back to self. <sighs> Resist the urge to move here, and, and it can be challenging, but just relax your back. When you're ready, you can either stay here and pause the video if you'd like to stay longer, or just roll yourself back onto your belly really slowly, drawing that arm back in. Then we'll do the other side. Send the right arm out into a T, and just press yourself onto your side. Depending on what is going on with your shoulders, you may want to have less of an opening here and just stay just slightly on an angle with your left hand supporting you on the mat, just like this. And then slowly, as you feel the opening getting deeper, you can open up wider. 
And just take a moment to settle into your breath and into this pose. Taking five deep breaths here as you melt into the shoulder opening. You're ready. Roll yourself back onto your belly. <laughs> Take a moment to release. And then just roll yourself onto your back. Finding your strap. Gonna do a little bit of, again, of um, inner thigh opening before we come into our twist. So plant both feet onto the mat, bending the knees, and then take the belt around your right foot. Wrap the belt around your hands, then send the foot to the sky. Flexing the toes towards your face. And then length, straighten that left leg out. Take a deep breath here. And exhale, gently sending the leg closer in towards your chest. The knee can be bent a lot or a little bit or not. It's up to you. But keep reaching the heel up, relaxing the shoulders down on the mat, chin tucked into the chest to lengthen the back of the neck. And then grab the belt, both sides of the belt with your right hand. And take your left hand on top of the left hip and just Slowly guide the right leg out to the side, opening as much as you need to start feeling an inner thigh opening. Keep that left hip grounded down towards the mat so that left leg is active. You can have a block underneath that right leg if you need to rest it. Deep breath into the inner right thigh. You might feel yourself opening more as time goes by. When you're ready, guide that leg back up to center. Place the left foot onto the mat and then release that right foot down on the mat. And we'll switch sides. Take the belt around the left foot. Reach that left leg up to the sky. Flexing the toes towards your knee. Pulling that leg in just a little bit and then reach the right leg out. Flex the toes, reach the heel away, and then lower that leg down to lengthen that right side. Take a few deep breaths here in the hamstring opening. Relax the shoulders and the neck and the jaw. It's so easy to tense up again. And 
grab the belt with your left hand. Right hand on the right hip, and then slowly guide your leg open to the left, opening the inner thigh. Maybe resting that leg onto a block or not. It all depends on where you're at here with your body and your practice. Sometimes I notice with, with myself that my practice changes every day. So one day I can, I feel okay with certain poses and the other days I might not be okay with them. And that's, that's completely okay. You know, we, we're dealing with constant f flows and changes in our bodies. So we can just focus on accepting where we are at in every moment and creating a, a gentle inner dialogue of self-love. When you're ready, Slowly guide that leg back to center, place the right foot on the mat, and then lower that left foot down. Release the belt, draw the knees into the chest, giving yourself a hug here. Maybe swaying side to side or creating little circles to massage the lower back. And then switching directions with your circles. And here you have options for your supine twist. You can take the left leg on top of the right into a bind and then lower the knees to the right or you can just keep your knees, your legs stacked one on top of the other, come into a 90 degree angle. You can have block underneath the thighs when you lower down. So open your arms out into a T and just drop your knees directly to the right into your twist. Option to have the right hand on top of the left thigh. Take a deep inhale into the left side body. Exhale, relax your neck and your left shoulder, maybe relaxing your gaze or closing your eyes. Come in more deeply, settling in. Relax your feet, your thighs, and your hips. Take a moment to witness your breath, the condition of your heart, the quality of your thoughts, Take a deep inhale all the way up into the chest. Open your mouth inside out. <sighs> Drawing the knees back to center. Pulling the energy back in right into the midline. Settling in here. And then when you're ready, just dropping the knees slowly to the left. Directly sideways, perpendicular to your body. Find your twist, your own expression of your twist. Breathing deeply in and allow yourself to melt here, relaxing the feet, neck and the jaw. Expand the breath in all directions. Coming back to your intention. The idea of wholeness and ourselves and our 
self-acceptance of all our different parts, holding space for ourselves in this moment. Letting go. Keep letting go. Relax your hips and your jaw. Take a deep breath in. Open your mouth inside out. <sighs> Inhale, the knees back to center. Opening them wide, maybe rocking side to side a few more times, moving freely as needed. And then find yourself in a nice, long, big stretch. Pointing the toes, squeezing all of your body, reaching the hands, reaching the arms, squeezing the face muscles. Everything that's needed here, even your glutes, just squeeze the face muscles, everything in your body. Go, 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 go. <sighs> oh. Release everything into your final Shavasana. Open up and take as much space as you need. Relaxing deeply into your mat. Slowing down your breath. Recognizing the length of your exhalations. Sinking into your navel. Relaxing your eyelids your jaw, your throat, letting, all, letting it all go, from the toes all the way to the crown of the head. Stay here for as long as you need. Thank you for joining me today. Mahalo. Namaste.